Hello, and welcome to the Read Aloud podcast. This podcast is an amateur effort to make audiobooks of significant leftist works in the public domain. My goal is to create a learning resource for anyone who wants to learn about the ideas of leftism, but would rather do so by listening. A few things you should know about me as a person going into this. I'm your reader, David, and I am a cisgender white man from a very rural community who attended a top 10 American university. I want to be open about the biases I bring with me in my limited commentary and editorial decisions. While I do not expect self-awareness to grant immunity from criticism or errors, I do want you, my listeners, to know that any harmful things I say are not intentional hostility. They are the product of me being a flawed person and always hoping to continue growing as a person. If you're interested in contributing a reading, especially in a segment I am particularly unqualified, fight in such as women's rights or black liberation or you are a leftist writer who would like to collaborate on a reading of your work i urge you to reach out to me i hope you always feel free to email me at readaloudpod at gmail.com or reach out on twitter at readaloudpod we'll be starting this series with the manifesto of the communist party by Karl marx and Friedrich engels i didn't really think about this choice too much It just seemed inevitable that a show about major leftist writings will cover this at some point, and I figured I'd get it done at the beginning. In some ways, this is possibly the most redundant choice I could have made, but it's the one I'm going with. There isn't much I can say about the manifesto that hasn't been said before. After all, it is among the most important political documents ever created. While Engels supported the manifesto's creation, it is no secret that Marx was the primary author. Author. Marx was born in 1818 to Prussian parents. Marx's father was a lawyer who converted to Lutheranism from Judaism before his son's birth, which has spawned countless anti Semitic conspiracy theories. Marx became involved with radical ideas, particularly in relation to the ideas of Hegel, during his academic career. Marx's studies put him on the road to becoming a radical writer and stateless person by 1845, though not before marrying theater critic and activist Jenny. Von Westphalen, with whom he would have nine children. As a part of the socialist movement, Marx continued to write and organize underground in Brussels. To that end, the manifesto was written in 1847 and in 1848 sent to the Communist League in England, where it was adopted and continued to spread in left-wing circles throughout Europe. Marx continued to move around Europe himself before ultimately settling in England. Other notable works, of course, include all volumes of Das Kapital. In 1884, He died at age 64 in London from lung abscesses. With that, let's begin with the brief introduction. A specter is haunting Europe. The specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy alliance to exercise this specter. Pope and Tsar, Metternich and Guizon, French radicals and German police spies. Where is the party in opposition that has not been decried as communistic by its opponents in power? Where is the opposition that has not hurled back the branding reproach of communism against the more advanced opposition parties, as well as against its reactionary adversaries? Two things result from this fact. One. Communism is already acknowledged by all European powers to be itself a power. 2. It is high time that communists should openly, in the face of the whole world, publish their views, their aims, their tendencies, and meet this nursery tale of the specter of communism with a manifesto of the party itself. To this end, communists of various nationalities have assembled in London and sketched the following manifesto to be published in English, French, German, Italian, Flemish, and Danish languages. Thanks for listening. Next episode is part one, Bourgeois and Proletarians. As always, relevant links and contact info will be in the description.